The Tucson Botanical Gardens are more than just a tranquil oasis in the heart of Tucson. It strives to be recognized and respected as the best small public garden in America. But it also strives to be the place you hang out this summer. Here to introduce us to the Summer Oasis series is Catherine Hoagland, the Gardens Development Manager. Catherine, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And, and tell us, we're talking, we actually were talking about the shoes you're wearing. Talk about the space you guys have because there certainly is plenty of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we have just over five acres, just right in the heart of Tucson on Grant and Alvernon. Um, we've actually been there for a number of years now. We're celebrating our 40th anniversary oh, wow. this year. And we've had you on bef before mm -hmm. with your amazing exhibits that you have. Yes. Tell us about some of the exhibits that are there right now. Well, right now with our Summer Oasis series, we have a few different exhibits going on. Um, one of the first is actually called Bite. It's a carnivorous plant exhibit. Ooh. It's really a lot of fun. It takes place in our greenhouse that normally houses the butterflies during October, April season. But instead, we decided for the summer we'd do something a little different and we put in carnivorous plants. There's dozens different varieties. Um, some are the sort of typical what you think of with carnivorous plants, the pitcher plants or the Venus flytraps, um, but there's also a lot of really unusual ones, ones that you wouldn't think would be carnivorous at all. And can you actually see them? Like, well, if you, um, there's lots of bugs in there, okay. and so sometimes you can, <gasps> um, especially the pitcher plants. They're very long, and so you often can see little flies and things stuck in there. They're very interesting, especially for little kids. And that's something that you don't get to see every day. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, I love the, because you think of the little <laughs> kids, you think of like the tongue and the snapping <laughs> shot. But it's good to know there are other mm -hmm. varieties. And you talk about Twilight Thursdays, Sunset Saturdays. It sounds similar, but I bet it's different. No, um, those are actually two more events with our Summer Oasis series. Um, Twilight Thursdays is every Thursday night between now and September. And we're open late till 8 p.m. So you can take advantage of the cool weather in the evenings. Our cafe is open for dinner reservations. And it's just a really nice opportunity. You can come, you can picnic at the gardens, you know, enjoy it when it's not at the heat of the day. Mm -hmm. We have a special Twilight Thursday coming up soon. It's actually our alien edition, Twilight Whoa. Thursday. So this is going to be July 31st. Okay. And and um, just the one evening, 5 to 8. And what it is, we have our alien exhibit that we've had going on um, for throughout the last year. It's an opportunity to look at invasive plant species through the lens of the 50s and 60s B movies. So think Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or Day of the Triffids. So we're going to have an alien edition of Twilight Thursdays with crafts. We're going to show a little shop of horrors, the movie. Oh, we're even going to have a contest, a uh, costume contest for the kids. <laughs> So it's a lot of fun, a really nice opportunity to come out and enjoy that sort of cool weather at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then also our Sunset Saturdays that you mentioned. Um, that's again an evening event, um, but it's only the fourth Saturday of every month. Okay. So July, August, and September. We're going to have a band, live music, bar, food, and again, kids' crafts and educational activities. And how much is it to get into? Well, right now, our daily admission is just $8 for an adult. Okay. Members, of course, are always free. Our Twilight Thursday is the same price, $8. And then our Sunset Saturdays is $9 for adults to get in and $5 for kids. And they can, they have all access to the Botanical yes. Gardens when they come to this. Mm -hmm. That is really fun. And it, mm -hmm. and it sounds like, we talked about the fun you can have, it sounds like kids and adults the same can both have the same amount of fun. Absolutely. These are very family friendly events. Um, we really strive to do things in the summer that the whole family can go to. And, you know, as a mom, I know it's really hard sometimes to think mm -hmm. of things to occupy your kids during the summer. You don't want to go out at noon, go to the parks. It's just so hot. So uh, we try to have lots of opportunities to bring people to the gardens, enjoy the shade. We're always about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the rest of Tucson because of all the shade and water that we have. And you've mentioned some pretty unique plants. Mm -hmm. What does it take to keep these plants alive in our desert climate? Lots of manpower. I, I, I know. I'm sure people don't understand the amount of work. Like, this is beautiful. What is this? This is an adenium. Okay. And we actually have a whole exhibit of adeniums right now. Um, they're fairly rare plants. They're fairly slow-growing plants. Um, but as you can see, they're just beautiful. And so um, as you walk through our gardens, we have a whole corridor of adeniums of all different sizes. Um, that one that we just showed had pink flowers. We have some with white, some with red, some with orange flowers. And they grow naturally, all twisted, just like that. That is a Could, it, could we plant that, like, in our yards right now or no? Well, you know, you're going to have to bring it inside in the wintertime. Okay. They really thrive on the warm climates. And so right now, the summer is perfect for them. But in the winter, you're going to need to bring it inside. I want my... All right, just everywhere. 
And that's what I love about the Botanical Gardens. Tucson is very beautiful in its own natural landscape, but you bring out things that you can't find here as well, so you get a little bit of everything. We do. We have really um, two different sections to our gardens. We have a, our historical gardens. That's the oldest part of our property. We have lots of plants that were planted here in Tucson in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, when the idea of gardening was just very different than it is now. And then as you walk towards the back of our gardens, we have our xeriscape, our cactus gardens, our succulent gardens, the more native plants, the hardier plants, the ones that really thrive in our our natural environment without as much care. Um, so it's a great opportunity to kind of see the two different types, but not only do we have those native plants, we also tried to bring in things that are very unique. Um, Boojum trees from Africa, again, very slow growing. Um, they're just really kind of fun, tall plants. The adeniums, we try to have the carnivorous plants. We try to bring in things that are not only a little different, mm -hmm. but things you're not going to see every day. Things that are hard to grow on your own, but our staff And can things use. that I almost cannot picture in I my know. head, but yes. I have to come out and see you. You should, you should. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for joining us. Yes, thank yes, you for having me. You. And to find out more about the Tucson Botanical Gardens Summer Oasis Series, you can call 326-9686 or visit TucsonBotanical.org. Again, that number is 326-9686 or TucsonBotanical.org. Coming up on the Morning Blend will help you heal your body from the inside out, even lose weight in the process. Plus, buying in bulk can save you big bucks. We've got a few pointers from the best ways to do this right after this.